Hey guys, I'm Amy Wadsworth of 804 Sycamore, and I'm super excited to show you how I made this wall sign behind me. It's vintage inspired, and I designed the graphics. So if you like it and want to learn more, you can also go to my website. There's a link in the description, but the video shows you just how easy it is to make a vintage inspired wall sign yourself. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and you can subscribe to get more DIY and decorating inspiration. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so I used this piece of quarter inch plywood. Um, it was in my garage and I marked it out so that it's five feet wide by three feet tall. I wanted to customize the size um, to create some artwork above my couch. And what I'm doing now is I'm marking um, six inch wide lines. And I made sure that these lines would fit evenly across my board. So you have to do a little bit of math when you're working this out, but um, after I mark the top and bottom, just make sure you put some weight on, on your straight edge, whether it's a level or this board that I have, um, and then you just mark all your lines. So it's that easy. All right, and the next step is I'm just gonna go ahead and place my board line it up with my pencil mark again, and then I'm using a Dremel tool to quickly make an even notch in the wood. It, you guys, this is so slick. It's very subtle. It's not too deep. Um, I do it quickly though, so that it does, I don't, you know, because it can move around a lot. And so if you just steadily drag it down, um, it just worked out great. And I got that shiplap look without using real shiplap boards or without using a sharpie marker so highly recommend a dremel tool okay so now you can see i cut my plywood it's five feet by three feet again and now i'm ready to connect some scrap boards onto the back and what that's going to do is it's going to help add some structure to the thin plywood but most importantly it's going to be what i connect my pine boards to to create a frame. Um, a quarter inch plywood is way too thick, way too thin to place um, brad nails or screws in. And so what I'm doing is I'm adding some thickness with some wood glue and then my brad nail gun. And then um, you'll notice that I use full boards on each end, but for the top and bottom, I didn't quite have enough scrap wood and that's okay. Um, get as much coverage as you can because those are the boards that you're going to be nailing the frame into. And here it is all nailed up. As you can see, I have little spaces um, because I didn't, I wasn't able to go um, flush board to board, but that's okay. So, um, as I said, I primed the plywood with primer, but now I'm using Waverly chalk paint. It's a little bit watered down. I, I like it a little bit thinner um, because I'm going to be aging this. I'm adding some weathered marks in a bit, but um, go ahead and you can add one layer or two layers of your final coat of paint. And this is all the painting you'll do, prime and paint. For this step, I designed the graphic that I wanted um, on my sign and um, I did use other signs as inspiration but the established 2000 is the year my husband and I got married so a little customization in there is always fun make it personal you can find this graphic on my blog 804sycamore.com um, it will be for free and um, I use a small projector to um, project images. I, I don't have great penmanship and so the projector totally saves me. Um, there's a link for that projector as well. It's very affordable on Amazon and so easy to use. Once you've penciled in all of uh, your text and graphics onto your vintage sign, um, then you just want to go ahead and take a sander and start roughing it up. I like to rough up some vertical and horizontal spots, um, just trying to kind of make it look natural, um, but also balanced and even with um, how I'm aging it. And I'm trying to not sand off too much of my pencil marks because I'm going to need those for my next step. After you're all done sanding, 
um, I just used my vacuum and I just vacuumed off all the sanding bits and made sure it was clean. With your sign all cleaned up, you can start filling in your stenciled um, design. I used this Sharpie paint pen for the very small text. Um, it was just easier to use than a paintbrush and it went relatively quickly. I was able to do all of the small text with one Sharpie paint pen. So highly recommend that if, um, if it comes in a color that you need. And with a squared um, paintbrush, I just used black acrylic paint. It's, um, it was just simple uh, crafters acrylic paint from Walmart and I didn't even use half a bottle. It went on um, really nicely. I didn't add any water, I just used it straight and uh, one coat was perfectly adequate to get the coverage I wanted. With the sign relatively done, it's time to go ahead and start measuring out your pine frame. I, I chose pine because I had some on hand, um, but I also like that light natural wood color too. So for that, you just, you're gonna measure. Um, I chose to um, have my sides, the, the left and right sides, I chose to have them um, fully cover top to bottom because when you walk into the room, you can see the side. Um, and I just used wood glue and my brad nail gun. And the brad nail gun is being attached to those the boards on the back. Um, and I had to use clamps to keep it in place, make sure it was all lined up. I did originally try to do 45 degree angle cuts, um, but it was very difficult for me because um, when I first measured it on the carpet, I got a way different measurement than what actually fit it. So, as you can see, I have little bits hanging off and I just cut, the, I just cut those off later. So um, if you want to have square ends or 45 degree ends, that's up to you. And then once your sign is ready to go, um, what I did is I found the, um, the stud in the wall because I knew that I was going to place a wall sconce above it and the wall sconce needs to be attached to the wall stud but when I attach my hanging hardware on the back of the sign um, I'm just using those monkey hooks and so I don't like those don't go into studs so I have to make sure that wherever I place the hardware on the back it's going to go directly into sheetrock so finding your stud and and this part having it totally customizable is pretty great So now that I know where the hardware should be, I'm just measuring it and making my marks and then I just pre-drill the holes and um, get the screws screwed in and I made sure to place the other hanging hardware equally on the other side um, just to make sure that it's nice and balanced and evenly distributing the weight. So this part is really the easy part. I had these um, this hardware on hand, I didn't buy anything special. The quarter inch plywood is pretty lightweight, so um, it, it makes it so you don't have to put heavy duty hardware on the back of the sign. And so what, I, what was easy for me instead of measuring and marking, I just held the sign up there, put a level, and then marked with a pencil um, where I'm going to use my monkey hooks. Um, and those you just kind of twist them into the wall and and they're good to go so it was pretty exciting to get this part up and then I could just um, I could really see what was going on and move my couch to have it nice and centered okay so now what I'm doing is I I held up my wall sconce I marked the spots with pencil I made sure the left and right screws were um, level and I'm drilling them directly into the wall stud. It is a hardwired wall sconce, um, and as you can see, there are no wires. I'm not hardwiring it um, into any electrical outlet. Um, there's no plug-in, 
but I have a really cool um, way to make this light work without any of that. And um, it's pretty slick because you can basically add a, a light anywhere. Okay, and here is everything set up, and this is called the Magic Light Bulb. There is a link in the description, and it is pretty awesome. It's remote controlled. Uh, you just screw it in anywhere, and it is controlled by a simple remote. Okay, guys, I am loving this vintage sign. I hope you do too. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY and decorating inspo. Thanks.